Now, not that long ago, Vodafone launched a competition in which 2,500 people entered to have the opportunity to have a year funded that they'll be doing volunteer work abroad. Now, as I say, 2,500 entered, eight were chosen, and one of those lucky chosen is joined with us this morning in the studio, and that is Sasha. Thank you for joining us this morning. No problem. Now, as I said, that was a huge amount of entries, and talk a little bit about the process, because as we were saying earlier, you must have thought when you first entered, you didn't really have a huge chance. It really was a long shot. I yeah. just, I didn't think that I would, you know, it's a 1% chance for, from 2,500 yes. people. So there were several stages to the application process. Mm. Um, we had to fill in an application form online and there were quite open questions like what kind of difference do you want to make for your charity, what charity do you want to work for and why. And then, um, so that took about five weeks. Yeah. And then we were just waiting basically. So the process from, from you actually sending the application to actually finding out that you were the, one of the lucky few was about two months, wasn't it, in total? It must have been yes. quite nerve-wracking two months. It was. I, I was thinking about it every day, and every day I was like wishing to myself, hoping that I'd be kind of the lucky one. Um, How did you hear about the competition to start with? Was it something you stumbled across yourself, or was it recommended to you? My boyfriend found it on Facebook, and it was <laughs> one of the banners, and he said, oh, I really want to tell you about this, but I don't want to tell you about this. And so when I saw it, I knew that I really wanted to enter because I thought it could make such a difference to my charity. Yeah. Sasha, what was your background before you ventured into this? Because obviously this has been a bit life-changing for you. So where have you come from and you know what, what have you got to look forward to now? Well, I'm a youth worker at the moment. Okay. And so I've always worked in the charity sector and it's the kind of work I really enjoy. And I'm also a sort of a seasoned volunteer, I guess. Um, but now I've really got the opportunity to work in the field of international development but also not have to put, for example, all my savings on the line. Mm. Like I can go and be paid for it and do the kind of work I want to do. It's amazing. Because so many people don't they want to do a year volunteering. It's something that particularly with the younger generations is getting more and more popular. But unfortunately, what a lot of people don't realise is the cost involved. Because being a volunteer doesn't mean just because you're volunteering your time that you know there's no cost involved. You have to actually pay for yourself, for your accommodation, for your travel and yeah. for your living expenses out there, which unfortunately is something that some people can't afford. So how has Vodafone really opened the doors for you and, and have you benefited from this money? Well obviously I can now go abroad and I can do a project for the charity um, and don't have to sort of pay for it out of my own pocket mm. but also it means I can stay there for a whole year and not have to because my initial idea was to go for three months mm. and then come back do a bit of temping work and go again and obviously that's quite inconvenient mm. but now I can stay out for the whole year I can have a salary I can live normally and that's just I can't explain how amazing that is. What do you know so far of the uh, the project that you're actually going to be working on because it'll be very exciting not only are you working with the project but you'll be charting your progress as well for the world to see. Yeah. Um, well, as part of the application process, we had to put together a project plan about what I'm going to be doing. So basically, for the Peer Education Programme Against AIDS, I'm going to be developing their volunteering strategy um, and basically getting UK volunteers to come out, volunteer in Zambia. They're going to bring in invaluable fundraising and that's going to make all our programmes on the ground sustainable. So my job over the year will be to establish that. So. I guess after winning, the actual work is beginning now, yeah. so I've got quite a lot to this do. It all becomes very, very real. Yes. So as you know, as Derek pointed out there, you're something you're passionate about for a long, long time prior to this competition coming to light. What is it that really inspired you about this charity and what is it really that appeals to you about it? Well, basically, obviously, HIV and AIDS doesn't have a cure. Mm -hmm. And um, at the moment, what, peer, what Pep AIDS does is that they do education on the ground to sensitise people against HIV and AIDS and so they can protect themselves. And that's basically the best vaccine that we've got. And in Zambia, where it's like 17% of 15 to 49-year-olds are HIV positive, mm -hmm. you know, that's what we really have to spread. We have to spread that education. And it's literally life-saving and life-giving. And that's what inspired me to want to work for them. So it's not just dealing with the problem once it's happened is actually preventing which is, is the main exactly. thing about it isn't it? it? Completely and it's not only just sort of HIV and AIDS it's kind of helping people to get out of poverty so things like income generation if people can get themselves out of poverty and have and mm. earn money for a living then they're less likely to get, engage in risky behaviour that spreads HIV and AIDS. So it's going to be a, a, an education programme as well that you'll be in a way you'll be building up an education programme for people as well. Completely and one of the projects I'm really excited about doing is we're going to have a schools linking programme because what we found is that if children are educated and they properly go to school and then into their teens
teens, they're less likely to sort of engage in risky behaviour. Mm -hmm. So we're going to link up schools in the UK with community schools in Zambia and the UK schools can fundraise for those partner schools and we're going to use things like Skype so they can actually talk to each other and yeah. all those sorts of things and I've already got some schools on board who are really excited about it in Manchester so I just can't wait to get my teeth into it and get it started. So there really is a strong link with technology, they obviously Vodafone are a pinnacle at the front of technology with it being you know, mobile phones which is something that's grown and grown. You said there that you actually found out about the application through Facebook and now you're using Skype so it really you really sort of using the most technology available to you to bring you know the 21st century to the sort of people that are unfortunately are in poverty yes and like it also helps us to raise amazing awareness about the work that we're doing like social media is really the way forward mm. because you can get things like a not-for-profit Flickr site for example and put all your photos up well, from the, the charity the, the Queen we know has just done that the Buckingham Palace are now on Flickr they have their own account don't they and it, yeah and it's just amazing like YouTube as well you can have a not-for-profit YouTube site so we've done some videos about the work that we're doing we can put those up there and that means that all across the world people can see what we're doing and we're going to be able to access new audiences of support and for a small charity like ours it's just invaluable and part of the deal is sorry Jerry, no. part of the deal as well is for you to actually document what you're doing isn't it as well so that everybody at home can be inspired because you mentioned that in fact the volume of people of applicants this year far exceeded the applications the year before and hopefully will do so in the coming years so people at home can really chart what you're getting up to. Exactly, I think as part of my grant agreement I'm going to have to have a blog and videos about kind of what I'm doing. Again that also helps promote the programme and show the fantastic work that I'm doing but also helps to promote the charity. Mm. And um, it's actually mentioning there the charity itself. You're at the front line, you're the one actually going out and doing that. But it has had a huge impact on the charity because it's quite a small charity, wasn't it? And you're the very first person to receive a salary. So that's really going to you know, up the profile of the charity and also the work they do. It's setting us on the road to kind of achieving our dreams. Like at the moment, Pepe's is run by one trustee who works in her spare time and literally three volunteers, of which I'm one. Mm -hmm. But now we've got a paid employee to go out to Zambia, work in collaboration with the Zambian communities and the team, do all that work and potentially now our team could grow. In the future we could have more volunteers and more paid employees. It's just unbelievable. You mentioned you, your boyfriend Sasha and you're going out for a year aren't you? Are you going out for a year solidly or are you, will you be coming back from I'm, time to time? I'm hoping to come back for things like Christmas and right. Easter and obviously because it's a sort of paid position Pepe's will give me things like annual leave. Mm -hmm. um, essentially what I've got is a new job I guess. Um, he's really supportive and has been amazing and also he's got some skills that I'm hoping to utilize because he's a teacher. Oh fantastic, so that really will help. <laughs> That's really really going to help. Can you our see projects. yourself going beyond this as well in into other projects internationally? Obviously this for you is a, a massive kickstart in in terms of your career from volunteer to you know paid guide if you like which is which is fantastic where, where do you see yourself going from there well obviously this project that I'm going to implement I think it requires more than a year's kind of work so mm. what Pepe is probably going to look into after my year's finished or during that year is for extra funding to keep me on mm -hmm. and so that I can continue to for example pilot the projects as part of our volunteering strategy um, for the projects to be successful you can't just go in for a year and then leave because you can tend to leave a community worse off it's yeah. ongoing isn't it so yeah. Completely. Um, and this is the sector that I want to work in. The third sector I just think is amazing and I, as I've always worked in it so my career is definitely here and if I can do more for Pep Aids, I totally will. Listen, um, take the opportunity now to plug away where can we find all the information on the project and the charity. Okay, so uh, Pep Aids website is www.pepaids.org um, and you can look through there and see the current projects that we're doing and the volunteering schemes if you want to get involved. And the videos. And the videos. Um, the Vodafone, Vodafone World of Difference website website is obviously uh, vodafone.com forward slash world of difference okay. um, and you can see all about the other amazing people who are doing work for the year as well. Brilliant, Fantastic. well you certainly seem very very passionate so they'll be very lucky to have you as well and it's great that people like yourself get the opportunity um, and get to help others and then to enjoy it as well which is something I'm sure you will do and that Shine will be charting your success as well, it'll be something that will be very Definitely. interesting to look at. Definitely, and your enthusiasm is very infectious as well so I'm sure you're going to be taking one way or another you're going to be taking a lot of people support with you I as hope well. So, so really good luck. So. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Uh, thank you for joining us this morning. We're going to have all the details on our own website of, of, as well, of course, uh, shine-tv.co.uk. It sounds fantastic. It sounds it very exciting, it indeed. actually. And it's so lovely to see somebody so excited about doing something like and that. And something lovely. so worthwhile yes. as well. It is wonderful.